FGB Forever says, if the Packers upset the Bears this week, is there uh, – well, it wouldn't be an upset. Uh, is there still a scenario where Matt Eberflus gets fired, also FGB? I think what you're getting at is, like, let's say the Bears get blown out. Very possible. We've seen it year over year after year after year. This team is reeling. I, I would be shocked if the Bears kept this within 10 points. Let's say it's at least 17 or more points, 31-14, 38-10, whatever. Say it's just a bloodbath. Like, you're just going to let Matt Eberflus ride this out? <laughs> like, I, I don't see I, – I get they've never done it, but that, that would just be embarrassing to fire the OC. Everything looks just as bad, if not worse, from a team standpoint. The defense lets go of the rope. Like, you're, you're just going to let Flus coach the final seven games? Really? Like, you would allow that. Like, I, I get the McCaskies. There's no reason to trust them. I, I'm not going to believe they're going to do it until I see it. But if they get just embarrassed and the whole stadium is booing the team and chanting fire flus, like at some point you got to wonder if it's at least a possibility. So uh, if you're on the get rid of flus immediately train, you should cheer for the Packers to win this game by 50 points. Uh, because if it's close or if the Bears win, clearly they're not going to make a change. But uh, if they get embarrassed, I do wonder if it could be on the table. Listen, the motto doesn't change. It's still Packers week. It's still fuck Green Bay. So get the FGBs going in the comment section down below. Obviously, I, I want the Bears to beat the Packers, but I, I just don't see how that's even a possibility. John T. All right, do you think DJ will stop being a baby now after the Waldron firing? I don't know. I, I, I've defended DJ. It, it's kind of hard to continue to. I, I still think he's a good player. Um but I, there's multiple examples where anybody who doesn't even really understand the details of football where there's lazy routes and there's just frustration and there's and, and I get he's frustrated. Him and Caleb are on the same page. He clearly does not like Caleb. I mean, <laughs> I, I think that's kind of obvious at this point. Now, can that change? Hopefully. Um, but when you run a simple five-yard out route and you're drifting, drifting three yards upfield, I mean, it's just lazy. It's just bad technique. So... I don't know. Is he one of the players who uh, went to uh, the uh, the Eberflus and Poles and said bench Caleb? I, I w if that actually happened, I would guess he was one of those players, which that's disappointing in him as a leader. So I don't know. We'll see where it goes from here. Michael with the five, do you think the team quit more on Flus or Shane? Now that there's a chance in OC, do you anticipate them playing with more desire on Sunday? I guess we'll find out, right? If the team comes out energetic, plays hard, um, maybe it was more quitting on Shane. Maybe it's getting up for this Packers game. Like you would think, even if you just want this coach out, you would get up for this game. It is the Packers, um, coming into your building. You don't want them to embarrass you because you know, your fans are going to, you're, you're going to hear it from your fans, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out, especially if they get down early, Michael, like, is this team going to fold on, on Sunday? It feels like it's possible. If you want to support Bears now, the easiest way to do it is to subscribe to the channel, watch our content. So hit that sub button, the notifications, if you want to turn those on as well. It'll tell you exactly when we go live and when we publish, publish videos. Uh, so go ahead and rock and roll with us here on this channel. Steven, appreciate the five. Uh, McKay, McVay likes Thomas Brown. Does that change anything for you? They may not change the wheel, but they do. will they do the little things better? Yeah, I talked about that earlier um, outside of this mailbag. Uh, Sean McVay has been very vocal of Thomas Brown. He made him his assistant head coach um, just one year on the job um, for Brown on the job uh, in L.A. So, I mean, that that does tell me something that he's got leadership skills, which Shane Waldron clearly didn't. Now, from a scheme standpoint, calling the plays, I, I don't know. In his limited play calling last year in Carolina, it didn't look that good. Carolina was obviously a joke and didn't have much talent, so I don't know how much there is to take away from that. I do think from a leadership command the room standpoint, he'll be an upgrade. After that, I don't know. I, I think it's more of just a you had to do something, so this is the move they made. Mystic Dog, Waldron was fired for bad optics, laughing, not being bad at his job. I mean, has he been good at the job? <laughs> what can we point to that he's been good at the job? Um, I'm not saying he never schemed anyone open. I'm not saying uh, his quarterback played well for him. I, I'm not saying any of that. But the run game got worse under him. The pass game 
has been slightly better overall compared to Justin Fields, but it should be a lot better with this quarterback and these receivers. Um, he's not someone who commands the room, apparently. That's an issue. Um, yeah, obviously him laughing in the middle of a blowout loss at home is, is a bad look, but I, I don't think that clip got him fired. I think he got fired because they refused to fire the head coach, but they had to do something. <laughs> I think that's why he got fired. Uh, prize picks is the place to go if you want to play daily fantasy in North America. Get signed up today at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. The code CLNS will get you a $50 bonus when you play for just 5 bucks With prize picks, you can earn up to 100 times your money with as few as four correct picks right now. Get started today. Uh, like I said, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. The way you set your lineups is simple. You pick two or more players, uh, as long as they're uh, at least two players on two different teams, and uh, choose more or less on the different stat projections available, points, rebounds, assists, if we're talking basketball, yards, touchdowns, if we're talking football, uh, goals in hockey, soccer, all kinds of things. Uh, and you can cross over your sports within your two- to six-player lineups. It's awesome. I got a simple two-player entry here. Uh, Jaden Daniels, less on his passing yards this week. Eagles defense has been really good recently. A.J. Brown, more on his receiving yards, five to win 15. But again, if you're a new customer, you can get a $50 bonus regardless if you win your first $5 uh, play. Uh, just use code CLNS when you sign up at pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Awesome deal Prize Picks is offering right now. Pick more, pick less. It's Prize Picks. Link is in the comments and in the description of this video. Jason Kendrick, how does a coach have an 0-18 road record and still have a job? 0-18 uh, on Sundays, Jason. He's won three times on non-Sunday road games. Well, let's, let's give him credit here. No, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of about 12 reasons why he should not be a head coach. <laughs> I mean, uh, he continuously lies about the culture. Um, there is no culture. He uh, can't get the OC higher, right? Um, when Montez Sweat doesn't play, his defense is below average. I mean, there's a million things to point to, and they just won't get rid of him. They will not do it. Christian, was Luke Getze better than Shane Waldron? You know, I've thought about this more. I, I think the simple answer is both are shitty. I, I think Waldron has a better resume overall. I, I like it, Regardless of the reasons, he at least ran a competent offense in Seattle for a few years. Getze has never done that. But in Chicago, you could argue that Getze was. At le I'll say this about Getze, and it was even true in Vegas this year until they fired him. At least he had good opening scripts. The Bears scored a lot on opening drives with Getze. Now, after the script ended, he's pretty bad. But at least he started off pretty well a lot of these games. They have not scored an opening nine drive touchdown in nine games. <laughs> Three total points in nine opening drives. It's a joke. What do you guys think? How many games will the Bears win for the rest of this season? You got eight games left. I would say one or two, it would be my guess. Uh, two, I'll, I'll say two. Um, I think you'll win one divisional game, and you probably get the Seattle game. Like Maybe you win that game short week at home after Christmas. That benefits the home team versus the road team flying across the country. But I, I'd be shocked if it was more than two. Titus Hodges. Do we see Tyson Bajan in the second half of Green Bay if Caleb struggles? I do think that's on the table. Um I'm not bent, I'm not on team bench Caleb. I, I get he's been bad. I, I just think having him work through these struggles is valuable. Now, if he continues to take major hits and they can't protect him and he's still struggling, maybe there's value at some point in just sitting him down for a game or two. I'm not there right now. Maybe I'll feel differently two quarters into Green Bay. I don't know. Um, I do think it's on the table at some point happening. Again, would I do it? No. And, and by the way, let's just make one thing clear. And, and some of you guys think Caleb sucks. He's never going to be good. But fair, whatever. That's your opinion. If it gets to a point where they have to bench Caleb Williams for any reason, that is on the organization. Period. End of story. That is an organizational failure. I think even Caleb haters would agree with that for the most part. <coughs> Tyler. What if Thomas Brown comes in and kills it, offense looks great, then what? I don't know. Like, what if I win the lottery today? You'll probably never see me again. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm not saying 
winning the lottery is more likely than this happening. My point is, is like, I'm just not going to get my hopes up too much. Now, I, again, I think he's going to be a better leader. I think he's um, going to command the room better, communicate better, and, and there's value in that. Can he be a better play car? Can he scheme things up better? I, I don't know. It's still going to be the same offense. Now, he might ditch some plays, add some plays, utilize personnel different, and all those things need to happen, and all those things can help. But him killing it, like, if if this offense was a top 10 unit the final eight games of the year, that would be a miracle based on what we've seen. So, listen, if he does it, awesome. We, we have a different conversation, but uh, let's, uh, let's, let's see the guy coach a couple games before, we, uh, before we're uh, uh, doing a Super Bowl parade in Chicago. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for the questions. All good ones. At HGramNFL, Twitter and Instagram. If you have any more questions, you can hit me up over there on those platforms. Still have a lot of DMs to catch up on. I promise I will get to those. At HGramNFL, Twitter, Insta. Shout out to the real ones. 